are the lives of some of our most vulnerable under threat. We had Dana at the most dangerous time in the most dangerous place and no one warned us. It's the potentially lethal illness that targets newborns. So why have our state governments cut back funding for vaccination against whooping cough? I can never get the words to describe that utter desolation that you know, just five days before I was told my daughter had a cold and she wasn't hospital material and then I was being handed my dead daughter and she looked like someone had strangled her. For Tony and Dave McCaffrey, the loss of their baby daughter Dana is still so raw because it was so preventable. In 2009, at 11 days old, Dana got a blocked nose. The doctor said, oh look, it's probably just a cold. Nothing to worry about, uh, not hospital material. Tony knew something wasn't right, but it wasn't until her fourth visit to the doctor that a test revealed Dana had whooping cough and they went straight to the hospital. We'd been there 10 minutes and then she had her first coughing fit and it's diabolical. She coughed and coughed and coughed for minutes until she went blue, passed out and stopped breathing. Whooping cough is highly contagious and can be fatal without immunisation. While babies are vaccinated for free from two months old, newborns are vulnerable because their immunity is so low. Out of all the vaccine preventable diseases we've got, this is the one we're having most trouble with. We've chosen a vaccine which actually does produce good immunity, but that immunity wanes. What Tony and Dave didn't know was at that time, the area where they live in northern New South Wales was rife with the disease. Two babies were being admitted per week to the Lismore Base Hospital, but no one was telling us and that the one thing that might have prevented her getting a, a, a booster, no one told us about. Despite having intensive medical treatment, Dana's condition worsened and her heart failed. Holding her and, and you know, with all of the shock, all that was going through our minds was, why the hell didn't anyone warn us? And why isn't anyone telling anybody what this disease can do? The day after Dana's death, the New South Wales government launched a free whooping cough booster program for new parents, grandparents and childcare workers. In Australia, most babies who get whooping cough eventually get better, but tragically, one in 200 don't. Eight babies died during the whooping cough epidemic from 2008 to 2011. But with the outbreak over, most states have abandoned their booster programs. In New South Wales now, only mums in public hospitals will be offered a free jab. The states say it's the federal government's responsibility to provide an immunisation program as they do for other vaccines. Our role as a state is really to provide um, an outbreak response and we've provided a comprehensive outbreak response not only around vaccination but in terms of getting awareness around whooping cough. But Tony and Dave McCaffrey are gutted. The program has been cut back. So Queensland stopped the booster last year and a family just like us, they didn't get warned and their baby boy died. Because it's not subsidised, the price of the adult booster varies from about $40 to as much as $80. Yeah, they need to make it accessible um, for people. They want to, you know, tell people, that they recommend that, that they get boosters, but they're not willing to fund it. It doesn't make sense. In 2011, the Federal Government's Advisory Group on Pharmaceuticals found there wasn't enough evidence to support funding a national whooping cough booster program for parents. In the United States, we're now vaccinating pregnant women. New Zealand's starting to do it. The UK is actually vaccinating all pregnant women. Uh, and we hope that uh, we do get strong evidence and we can do that to protect those mums and protect those infants. But the McCaffreys are worried a national scheme will come too late for another family. Because I'm going to be watching television and there's going to be a mother on it just like me in a couple of years. And it's unacceptable. When I was younger, Such a sad story. Rochi, in the UK, we just heard, they vaccinate pregnant women. Why aren't we doing that here in Australia? Well, well you can. You can get it, and if you were going to get it, I'd get it in the last few months of pregnancy because a lot of the evidence is showing that the antibodies are passed on to the child and they get that immunity during that really crucial period 
under six weeks. The problem is to do with the evidence and where the funding is coming from, and, that, and that's what this big is. It, it comes down to bureaucracy and getting the evidence to be able to fund it. And the sad thing is, those parents don't care. The next parent whose kid gets whooping cough doesn't care about that. The reality is that a lot of the time, unfortunately, you need to take it upon yourself, get vaccinated, get family and friends vaccinated. And as a community, we need to vaccinate each other because we rely on herd immunity mm. to look after the little ones, not us, it's the little ones. And if that story doesn't motivate you too, then I don't know what will. Great. And if you want to find out more about whooping cough, just jump on our website.